Hey, 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 welcome back to the channel. This is Adam Ratliff with Adam So Fun, and we are in the final episode of the December Diamonds Quilt Along, and we are finally finishing our quilt. Very excited. And for the last step, we're going to be filling in those diamonds. Now, I'm going to be using the Dazzling Diamond set from Quiltable. I'll link it below. Remember, ASF10, like Adam So Fun. 10 will save you an additional 10% off your quiltable purchases whenever you're shopping there. Um, but I'm going to be using that set. When we come to the quilt, I'm going to show you some other things, like for those of you who don't have Pro Stitcher, um, how you might do it, how you can audition some designs, give you some other designs you might try um, in those diamonds. It's up to you. It's your quilt. You get to you get to do it. You get to quilt it up. Um, I will be talking about the dazzling diamond set. There's other diamonds in Pro Stitcher. There's other blocks that you can turn into a diamond in Pro Stitcher by just changing the dimensions of it. Um, so I'll show you a few of those things how to do it, and we're just doing everything at the machine. And then I'll show you how easy it is to place these because this is kind of like a, a lot of you are like, okay, there's a lot of diamonds. I don't want to just skew all those. Surprise, you usually can't skew to a diamond anyway. So um, we're gonna go in, I'm gonna show you the easiest way that I know to fit these diamonds in there. Some diamonds that I might use and some things that I might not, and we'll talk about it when we get over there. But um, as always, please uh, like this video with the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you hit that bell icon so you're notified when new videos drop. And always follow me on social media, Adam So Fun with an S E W on Facebook and Instagram, where you see all those other things that don't come to like happen to hit this channel, um, and all the fun links to things that I'm affiliated with. So, yeah, so without further ado, oh, I do have to. I got pretty thread today and it was on my counter. We were doing our, um, on Facebook, I do a Facebook Live on Tuesdays. It's Tuesday. So uh, I did an unboxing of my thread that I bought. I'm very excited for it. Secret project. Secret, not secret, I don't know. But um, let's go jump on the um, quilt because this is what we're excited for. We'll see you back here in a second. All right, so here we are at the quilt. And well, you're at Pro Stitcher. So here we are on our Pro Stitcher screen. I've opened some of the diamonds from the diamond or dazzling diamond set. Uh, I'm gonna hit design open. These are the diamond blocks that are included and in what you have nine blocks. So um, I looked through these, these blocks aren't super big. Well, I thought they were a lot smaller actually than they are, but um, they're not, I don't want anything super dense. So like just by looking at this block, you can see how dark it is, how dense it's probably gonna be. Probably not something I'm looking for. Now, if you're looking for that and you want something really dense, then that's fine. You should go ahead and grab it. It's just not something that I'm looking for in my aesthetic. Um, this one, same thing. Maybe a little bit too dense for what I'm what I'm wanting. This one, I'm in love with. That one is going to be all of my little blocks, and I'm going to show you why. Um, what other ones did I open? I think I need to do block one. Do I need... No, I don't think that's gonna fit my scheme. I opened, I basically opened the ones I wanted. Oh, cancel. I was hitting open. So these are the blocks that I picked. I'm gonna select them all so we can see. And let's do this. So we can, oh, I don't wanna select them all. Ugh, it's gonna give us that, those dumb lines. Let here, I'll, I'm spending time for nothing. Uh, down, down. There, that's a little better. I just don't really like all the jumps, but you can see them. So these are the blocks, whatever. These are the blocks I'm gonna use. Um, now, when I was looking at these, I'm gonna move that up a little bit. Um, I opened this one. And so this is one I wanna talk about first. And I liked it because it wasn't too, there wasn't too much going on. But remember, we're loading this quilt sideways. And if this design was rotated, on its side, it just doesn't look right. It would look right if it had another one coming off the other side or maybe for a different, different application, maybe if it was coming out of a block or something. But in this diamond itself, it just there's something about it that doesn't feel right to me. So this, not gonna use. I'm gonna close that one. So now I have these, um, these five that I'm gonna end up using. And these four on the right, are gonna be the big blocks. And then this one is going to be my little block. 
So these are the um, blocks I'm using. What this is number six, number eight, ten, four, and two. And I'm just looking up here. When I tap it, it when you tap a design, it tells you what the name is. So this is Diamond uh, Dazzling Diamonds Block Six, Dazzling Diamonds Block Eight, Dazzling Diamond Block Two, Dazzling Diamond Block Four, and Dazzling Diamond Block Five. So these are going to be the five designs that I'm going to be using for mine. Um, I'm also going to kind of go in and stick them in a certain pattern, but we'll talk about that when we get there. Um, first off, for those of you who don't have Pro Stitcher, maybe you are new to your long arm and you can't do feathers, or you're nervous with feathers, or feathers just aren't what you're looking for in this quilt. That's fine. This, or I'm going to tilt you down and we'll do all this down with the quilt top. All right, so this is a roll of preview paper. And what preview paper is, it's a, a basically a see-through paper that you can lay on your quilt and audition your quilting designs. Now, I don't like to clean this, so I usually use it and then just buy a new one. Um, you can write on this with a dry erase marker. I like to use a Sharpie because I don't like the dry erase marker dust. So I, I'm usually using a Sharpie on it. Um, you can clean off Sharpie with an alcohol, with some alcohol. I just don't like to clean it, so I don't. But what I like about this is one, you can remember those quilts you did so long ago and practice designs on, but you'll see at the top and the bottom, you can't see the bottom, but at the top you'll see that black line. There's a line like that on the bottom too. So when you are designing, you know not to go across to pass that line because then you're gonna write it on your quilt. So I'm gonna unravel this so we have some clean. This is such a good tool for those of you who are new to long arm quilting and just need help getting those designs. Oh look, I found a I found a clear place. All right, I'm working around the camera, around the light, and around the uh, microphone. So, we have this block. Here's our diamond. And this is, like I said, just a Sharpie. And um, there's a lot of different designs we could do. You know, maybe we just come in and we do wishbones. So that's a, that's a design, that's a beginner design that you can do. I self, um, what, what's the word? I am horrible wishbones. I know I am, it's just, it's just something that happens. Oh, how about we use this big block that has nothing in it so we can see it better. So I'm going here, here's my big block. Um, some other things we can do. How about like point to point quilting? So let's split this up. And what if we started here and we just did some stuff with our straight line ruler and we came over here and we did the same thing. Oops. Uh, that would be pretty cool. That's actually what I was thinking of at the very beginning when I was thinking about doing this was doing some kind of straight line designs. Um, other things we can do. We can continue kind of the straight line. Oops. I'm probably gonna run out of paper here, but that's fine. Um, we can do the same thing, but what if we instead we mark like one, two, three, one, two, three, and I would definitely be marking these. I mean, if you wanna practice some ruler work, these would be really good designs to do oh that would look really good almost like a diamond the one that you wear on your finger um so these are just some other design ideas uh maybe we can i wish that was in the middle of our quilt i'm gonna use this one again and then i'll just slide this thing down um you can do kind of this same uh stuff or even the other kind of point to point stuff and treat the diamond on its side. So we have something like that.
that. You know, what if I, I'm like moving this Sharpie around, I'm gonna end up writing on the quilt. Um, so yeah, there's, ooh, that's horrible. There we go. So something like that, using, you know, separate, separating the blocks in a different way. We could keep each piece. Oops, I should have drawn that better. Let me slide down some. Oh my gosh. Oh look, I found the clean spot. I'm gonna draw this one nice. So if we treat each piece, each color as its own piece, we could, I mean, do that same thing in each color. So if you've seen my, um, my elephant quilt, Barnum, this is kind of what I did in all of the random sections. I just kind of point to point, point to point quilted them. Um, so, I mean, there's a lot of different ideas you can do. Um, like you can do feathers, you could do whatever you want. You could re honestly, like we're going to pretend that was drawn nice. You could echo the inside a few times. If you have the echo feet, that would be a really great design. Um, you can also, I'm going to copy this one more time. What was I going to do? Oh, you could also echo this. And then do your fill in here. And that would be a really fun design. So you, like I said, you have a ton of options. I'm just going to happen to use Pro Stitcher because I'm giving this to a friend, and I want to kind of have all of the, all of those designs um, looking similar. I was able to kind of hide my free motion negative fill when I did my um, negative fill kind of space in the background fill, but I'm not going to be able to hide this. Um, so I want them, I just want them all to look the same. So those are some, for those of you who don't have Pro Stitcher, those are some options. Again, you can do whatever you want. It's all about making that quilt yours and doing exactly what you are looking to get out of that quilt. If it, if it says it needs clamshells in it, make clamshells. I mean, whatever you want to do, whatever you want to practice. This is a good practice quilt. Um, so let me get this off and we'll see you back here in a second. All right, so we're back at the quilt. I'm getting ready to use Pro Stitcher. So those were some options for those of you without Pro Stitcher. Um, for those of you who do have Pro Stitcher, um, let's talk about, let's see, I'm gonna do design open and let me just go open a block. Uh, and write out some blocks. So I have this block. Let me zoom into it so you can see. You can turn any block design into a diamond. Really easy. You're gonna go to modify, rotate. We want to rotate it 45 degrees to make it kind of in that diamond shape. And then we want to resize it. And um, I don't know if whatever you resize it to 10 by five. I actually wanted to go the other way, but whatever. Um, no, actually I do want it to go the other way. Uh oh, oh, I still on zoom. This might not be the best one to do this to, but you see, you can see what I'm talking about. You can resize them and turn things into a diamond. It doesn't mean they were like made to be a diamond, but you can still do that. Um, we are going to, so that's if you want a different block. If you find a diamond block that you like, then you get, can do exactly what we're going to do with the other ones. So first thing we need to do is we need to measure how big our blocks are. Um, all of our blocks are going to be different because we all piece a little bit different. So I am going to point you, or first thing, let's do, let's measure the small one first. So we're going to go up and down a lot. Sorry. I'm moving my crosshairs, my laser light right to the point. It's right on the seam at the end of the diamond, right on my center seam. Now, once I'm there, on my sidebar, I have a button that says measure. It looks like a little measuring tape. 
If you don't have this on your quick access tools, it's under Pro Stitcher and measures up here in the ribbon. So I am going back to file because I have my measure here. I will tap it. And when you tap measure, you'll get this zero, zero at your crosshairs. Um, sometimes it might not show up until you move the machine a little bit, but it's gonna be there. As long as that measure is um, green, then it's on. Now, my measure's on. I'm going to move my machine to right here, just straight to the right, following that seam. And when I look back up at my quilt, right here, I have a coordinate. And you can't read that, and I can't bring it any further or closer to you because then it's going to change that um, distance. But it says X 8.03 which means X is your right and left, and Y is your up and down. Um, so my diamond width is, I'm gonna say eight, 8.03. I'm gonna write that down because I'll forget by the time I measure the next side. I'm gonna tap measure, it turns it off. You'll see it's still there, but if I move the machine just a little bit, turned it off. Now I have to do the vertical, and I will do the same thing. Come up to my top point, laser light. Come back up, tap measure, turn it back on. And now I'm gonna to slide to this point. Come back up. And this time my X is zero because I didn't move right and left, but my Y is 3.24. I'm gonna say 3.25. And I wrote that down, eight by 3.25. That is now the size of all of my diamonds, all of my small ones. We're not gonna make it exactly the right size, so this is gonna be fine. It's, they're all gonna be close enough. So now, let's go to the big diamond. And since we're already on the seam, I'm just gonna do the vertical distance first. So I'm gonna move to my vertical distance. I'm going to, I'm coming back up here. I tap measure to turn it off. You can still see it there. I'll move the machine a little bit. Tap measure to turn it on and do the same thing. Sorry if you're getting dizzy. Straight down. There we have it. And when we look at the screen and you can see it this time, our vertical distance is 6.29. So I'm gonna round it up to 6.3. Perfect. Turn it off. I wrote that down and now I need to do the right to left. So over here, we have the edge of the quilt. Usually we would have a seam that we're gonna measure from. When you're at the edge of the quilt, you don't have that seam. So anytime you're measuring from the edge of the quilt, you need to measure in a quarter inch. Because remember, you're gonna lose that quarter inch in your seam. So I'm gonna put the edge of my foot right next, or um, the, line the edge of my foot up with the edge of the quilt. And so this is where that seam would have been. There's a thread, oh, no, got it. So once I'm there, I'm coming over here, I'm gonna tap measure, and we're gonna move across, yay. We're going, I can't see because I'm holding the camera. And right here, I have 17.93. Let's round that up to 18. So my big diamonds are 18 by 6.3, and my small diamonds are eight by 3.25. Now, come in here, turn your back, turn off my measure. I don't like to leave that on because there's one more thing on the screen that's just gonna distract me. Um, I am going to pick these up Zoom, oh, I don't wanna zoom out that far. Zoom out, and I'm gonna move these away. I don't need those four, because I wanna start with this one. Zoom here. So this diamond is gonna be all of my small diamonds. I, I decided beforehand, you saw my layout um, when I posted on Facebook. I want this to be my small diamonds. So this is the original one I opened, and if I go to my size, it opens at 12.20 wide, so the length, and the height is 6.67. That is too big for my eight by, 
eight by 3.25. So I'm gonna change my width. My width is eight. I don't wanna go all the way to the edges. So I'm gonna take off like a half inch, maybe even a little more. What if I do like 7.75 or 7.25? So I took off 0.75 of an inch. And that's my width. So I'm at modify, resize in my ribbon. Over here, I have width selected. I tapped the number 7.25, enter. Now I'm gonna select height. My height right now is 3.25. Um, I'm gonna change that down to, let's go, let's go the, what, 3.2, 2.75, enter. And now we'll hit rotate just so we get that line off. So this is my new diamond. This is my diamond size. This is not locked in stone yet. I want to see how it fits in one of these. We can then edit it a little bit to make it fit the way we like it. And then we'll, um, we'll decide what, how big we want to make it. So we have my diamond. It's ready to be placed. Now, the easiest way to place this, and this is going to be so fast, placing these diamonds once you get them um, edited to the size you want is going to be so easy. I'm going to tilt you down. You can see my two scissors that I lose all the time. Um, we're going to place it into this diamond. The easiest way, and it's like one button, maybe two if you have to get there. I'm going to put my laser light right at the center of this block. And we know the exact center of these blocks because we have an intersection in all of them. The only ones we won't know the center to are going to be the, um, the, oh no, I pieced my negative space diamond. So I even have the center there. If you didn't piece your negative space diamonds, you have to do a little bit of math, um, because you'll just split your height and your width, and then you can use that measure and find the exact space. So, um, but I have my laser light right in the middle of my block. I'm coming back up to my screen. You can see my crosshairs aren't even in view. We'll go to where my crosshairs are. And I'm gonna zoom over here. Um, modify tab, reposition in the ribbon. And you can't move your machine. Once your machine's there at that center mark, you're not allowed to move it. On our sidebar, there's a button right here that says center. Tap center. And it centers the design on our crosshairs. I should just close those other designs. Um, so my design is centered on my crosshairs. This is perfectly centered in that diamond now. So easy, one button, what I tell you. So I'm gonna create an area around my, um, my diamond. So I'm just gonna multi-point area. I'm on my area tab. I'm using the diamond on my right handlebar because I have an infinity um, forte or Namara. And I will only do this with the first one I make so I can see the design in my block. Oh, I zoom, I keep zooming. I keep refreshing because that's what I'm used to doing, but I can't do that here. Um, let's go a little bit bigger and move the screen so we can see. Oops, there we are. So this is how my design is gonna fit in that block. I happen to like it. Um, how far is that? So it's maybe three eighths from the edge, from this edge. So I'm okay with that. Three eighths of an inch is totally fine with me. So this is the size I'm gonna keep. Very important, I'm gonna save this so I don't have to recreate it and try to remember how big this is. So I'm gonna go file, save, selected. I don't wanna save it there. I'm gonna save it into um, my thumb drive with all of my quiltable stuff, but I'm not gonna stick it in the diamond block. So I'm gonna call this small and save it. And now I have my diamond saved. Now, if I look at my quilt top, I have one, two, three, four, five, six more diamonds to place. You can't see the last one because it's right here. Um, I have six more diamonds to place. So what I'm going to do, I'll just move you back so you can see it, how about that? 
Well, let's do the screen. So I have this first one. I'm gonna, okay, These. this is gonna drive me insane. So we're closing these, close, selected. There we are. So I have my design. I'm gonna go to my edit tab and I want six of these or I want six more. So I'm gonna hit duplicate one, two, three, four, five, six. Six times. Now I can go to my quilt and put my crosshairs where it needs to be and hit modify reposition center. I'll, t I'll select a new design, come down to my next one, center. And I'm tapping the new design each time. Ooh, I've been laying um, stuff on my quilt and there's some like fuzzies from some stuff I was working on. Um, every time you do this, you have to tap, the, tap a new design or you're just gonna keep moving the same design around. Center, tap, center, tap, center, tap, center. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like, seriously, so fast when you don't have the camera with you. So here's my seven diamonds. They're all perfectly placed. I want to stitch these all out because I can stitch these all really quick. Um, actually, I don't want to stitch them all out. Let's do the, let's do, no, let's stitch these. I'm going to stitch these really quick. So I'm going to select them all. Look at that zigzaggy mess. You know, I hate when they don't stitch out in the order that I want. So I'm going to tap my workspace tab. I have my group and I'm going to regroup this. So I want it to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this should be number three. So I'm going to go down two. Um, this should be number four. One, two, three. Uh, let's see. This should be five, one, two, three, four. And you can see that I need to find, that should be number one. We're going to the top. Where's my second one? Finding them is the hardest one. Okay, one, two, three. This should be the last, second to last. Four. This should be the last one. And this should be there. There you are. So now it's going to, you can see my stitch path. And I'm going to stitch these out really quick. I'm not going to baseline them. I don't need to baseline this just because I'm going to stitch them. I'm going to end up deleting all of them except for that, or oops, except for that original one. Oh no. Oh, there we go. Um, deleting all of them except for that original one because that's the one I'm going to carry on to the, um, to the other rows. So I'm going to stitch these out. Be right back. All right, so all of my small diamonds are stitched. And look, you can't even tell it's stitched because of the lighting. And here, you can kind of tell it's stitched. But look, right here, oh, it looks fabulous, flawless, fantastic. Oh my gosh. What about this one? Uh, gorgeous. They stitched out so nice. Oh, if I just pan over here. There we go. Um, I'm seriously, I am loving this quilt so much. I can't get enough of it. I love the texture from the background fills. I love how this is just adding enough to those. Um, I am using my, um, 623 silver and bottom line still. And the thing with that is I can see the stitching. It's coming out a little bit gray here. I can't see the stitching at all because there's that fabric's a little bit busy. Oh, you can't even see where I'm pointing. Um, <laughs> ow. Um, this one, I can't see the fat that's stitching at all. The fabric's a little bit busy here. This fabric is busy. We're probably not going to be, be able to see it. This fabric, not super busy. I'm going to be able to see the stitching, um, up here in the gray. I can kind of see it a little bit, but like this one, I can see the stitching. It's okay. I don't mind it. I know that that's going to happen. So, um, so those are the small blocks. So I'm going to bring my machine back over. And we're gonna get these large blocks set up. All right, so file clear all. I'm just gonna clear my screen. I did save that, remember, so I can clear this. Design, and I want, I think that was six.
So we need 8, 10, 2, and there wasn't 3, 4. So these are the four blocks that I'm going to use th through the rest of the thing. I feel like there was one more, maybe. Um, 10, 2, not 3, 4, 8, oh, and then the small one. No, nope, that's it. Um, so first thing first, we need to resize these. So the block I measured was 17.75 by 6.3. So let's do one, modify, let's change this to be, so modify, resize in the ribbon and my sidebar. I want to change the height. It was 6.3, let's do 5.75. And I want the width, we had it at basically 18, I'm just going to do 17. So these are going to be long and skinny and I'm okay with that. That's what we're going for. Uh, 5.75. 5.75 and I'm just kind of tapping on the one I want. Um, now these arrows down here, I never touch those unless I don't know my number. Like I know that I want this to be um, 17. If I push the plus, I might not be able to get to 17. This happens in class. People go, it's 1701, what do I do? I say, well, you hit the number like I told you because if you hit the number, you can just type it in and then it's always right. So unless you're resizing something to, um, to a number that you don't know, I always use my buttons. So I'm going to do like I did on that last one and we'll just pick one of these designs to with the one that's selected. I'm going to create an area. So area tab and I'm going to multi-point area around it. Sorry for my face in the video. Put my crosshairs right in the middle. Modify reposition center. Let's zoom in and look. So that's how, oops, I'm trying to come straight to you, but I wanted the lines out of the way, but I can't because I'm straight at you. Um, so this is how our design is going to fit. Love it. I am loving this. It's going to be perfect. So before we start stitching anything out, I am going to start saving these. Oops. Select tool. So we're going to file, save, selected. I'm saving them one at a time. And this one is going to be, I actually want it there. Perfect. Clear, I want large one, save. This one, save selected, clear, large two, save, pick. And did you, are you seeing what I'm doing? I'm hitting save. I have just one design selected. I'm gonna tap selected and I wanna rename it. Always rename anything you save. I'm gonna tap the name my keyboard comes up, clear, tap it in, save. So pick your design, save selected, it's saving here, and we're going to clear large, four. Now I have my blocks. So here's the next thing with this, is I have a specific layout I want to do. I'm going to move you back and turn you and tilt you so you can see what's going on. So, I want that the, the design to kind of work in this diagonal line. So whatever design is here is also going to be here, is also going to be here, and it's going to work all the way across the quilt. Whatever design's here is also going to be here and here. And I'm going to start that. So this will be like um, design one, two, three, four. And then one will start again on that next row whenever I go over. And that's how I'm going to line these up because I want some kind of symmetry to that. So when we look at our screen, coming up close, this is what we have. And this is how that design, that pattern is going to go. The other thing here and here, 
we have those negative space blocks at the end, those um, fills. So I need one of these because that's what would go here if that diamond was actually there. So I'm going to hit edit duplicate and we're going down. So I don't have a center. I'm going to move this back. I don't have a center that I can use here. There's not a, it, it's over here somewhere. I don't know. I didn't mark it, but I did check. I put my crosshairs right at the point of my design, which if I'm looking at the screen, is right here and I can measure and kind of drag over and I see that it's about a half inch from the edge so I'm just gonna eyeball that half inch this does not have to be perfect because it's gonna be in the negative space nobody's really gonna be able to tell so if I put my foot there and I kind of eyeball where that is I am going to put right here um, or put my crosshairs right here and now I can pick up that design. This one's gonna work easy for us because it's the right side of the design uh, or the start point is at the right. So I'm just gonna modify reposition start point. And that one is set. Now I'm gonna clear this area because I don't need that area there, but I do need to make an area over here because I need to, um, I need to, what am I looking for? Oh, I need to crop it. So I'm going to ding, 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 ding. So that's what we need. So I'm going to modify crop outside edges. Excuse me, baseline. So that's going to be that piece. And I'm going to go do that same thing on the other side, but with design one, setting it here and, um, and cropping it. So I will be right back. All right, so here's my layout. Um, I am going to do exactly what I did the last time, select everything, go to my workspace tab and line them up the way I want. My dog is making weird sounds behind me. There we go. So we'll stitch down, over, down, over, down, over. And I'm gonna stitch this out. We'll see you in a minute. All right, so pass one is done. I think you can see me. If not, whatever, who cares? The quilt is the more important part. Um, I seriously am loving this. So these negative space blocks are everything that I dreamed of and probably a little bit more. Um, I just love the, the texture. And I really do love how this set is turning out. I was. I have to say, I was not 100% sure whenever I got it, but now that now seeing it quilted out and seeing it stitched, I'm just, I'm loving the way it looks. Um, oh, these, these blocks, there's so much texture in this quilt. Like, uh, hashtag texture Tuesday. Oh, it is Tuesday. I should post this. Um, so I'm just going to continue stitching this and I will hopefully get a picture in the morning when it's done of it all stitched out and looking fabulous outside in natural lighting because that's when it always looks best. But um, hopefully I can get this video out in the morning too or tomorrow afternoon sometime. Um, if not, it'll be out Thursday. So today's Tuesday. There's the dog. The dog saying, get it done. Get it done, dad. Um, but yeah, so dazzling diamonds. The background is the faux free motion. Everything from Quiltable. I will link them below, but um, I'm going to continue on and get the rest of this stitched and we'll see you when it's done. Oh my gosh, everyone. We are done. The December diamond quilt is off the frame. It's trimmed and here's some photos of it. Bing, 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 bing. Um, I think, I think the camera's getting the texture. Holy crap. I am so in love with this quilt. Um, it is so much more than I thought it would actually be when I kind of planned this out and I saw this design. Um, remember this pattern is Diamond Days by So Kind of Wonderful. We used the quick straight ruler. Um, we went in, created our, created our designs. Uh, we left out some of the blocks or some of us left out some of the blocks. So we have some negative space blocks. Um, in this case, there's one. Oh, here's one. We have some negative space blocks, one there, one there, one up there. Um, and we decided to stitch those negative space blocks, stitch the actual block design into those negative space blocks, kind of like phantom blocks for phantom quilting. Um, 
we went in, stitched the ditch around the blocks. We did an echo, a quarter inch echo around the blocks to give it some more defined space. And then we went in with a fill into that negative space and just negative space filled. And then the last step was actually going in and stitching in the diamonds. Um, I love this. I, I can't, I can't even say how much I love this quilt. How it's, it, it, I, I think it just turned out fantastic. Again, very much better than I thought, you know. Um, some of you are using pro stitcher some of you are doing free motion whatever you're doing remember have fun like this is December it's a month for you to do what you want and just have a good time um, this is the back I flipped over a little bit and I'm pretty I, the lighting is horrible right now for me but it's really good for the quilt um, so this is what the back looks like again pictures here and um, I just I love it I, I, I just have to say I love it I'm, I'm gonna just keep saying it um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed the December stitch along. Um, I'll do it again next year. I think it's my like December project. I'm already thinking of designs, you know, what we can do and other ways to use Pro Stitcher. That's kind of the fun thing about it. Um, either you're doing free motion or using Pro Stitcher. Last year's, maybe next year's will be mostly free motion. Um, Cause this year's we did, I did a lot of Pro Stitcher on this. Um, but it's fun because by the end of the month, your quilt is done. You've pieced it and you've stitched it and you've done everything. And now that quilt is done and ready to love. Uh, I do have to get a binding on this. Ugh, you know me and binding. I hate it. Um, but I think if I stitch the binding on, I can get Ben to hand sew it. And then we can ship it off to who it's going to. Uh, I keep seeing some um, spare threads. Some threads that don't want to leave. Uh, but yes... Thank you so much for joining us for the December uh, the December Diamond Stitch Along. I hope you had a good time. If you have questions, post them below, email me, whatever you're doing. Please post pictures. I want to see all of your quilts. Like, this is the whole point of it. I want to see what you're doing and see those quilts. Um, remember to go on, if you're on Facebook, join the So Fun community. Um, a lot of people are posting their layouts and their fabrics. I keep seeing stuff on the back, and I had just had it outside on the floor, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I got it dirty. But it's the fabric. Um, what was I saying? I forgot. Oh, join the SoFun community. Post pictures there. Um, it's a place where you can post pictures and chat um, because you can't really do that on my Adam SoFun page, but this gives us a place where we can all do that and ask questions and things like that. Um, <clears throat> if you haven't, if you are on social media, Adam SoFun with SEW, make sure you do that. Uh, like, subscribe, hit that bell icon so you're notified when new videos start. Thank you all for joining us. Oh my gosh, I... I, like I said, I can't say enough of good things, um, but I want to see yours. I want to see what you're doing. So um, if you post p photos of your stuff, tag me at Adam So Fun so I can see it and it tells me you've been tagged. I just, I want to see what you're all working on. Like this is the whole point. I want to be part of a community where I can do stuff with you all. Well, like we kind of do it together. So um, thank you. Love you. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. All of that jazz. And we will see you in the new year. Oh my gosh. I'll see you next year. Um, no, I think there's one more video. And then I'll see you next year. But in case you don't watch it, Happy New Year, everyone. And I want to see your quilts. We'll see you in the next one. And if you're free motion quilting, just go for it. If you're pro stitcher, just go for it. Because at the end of the day, it's just quilting. Bye, everyone.